big twin in our history. The motor and the powertrain is always extremely important to Harley Davidson. And from a design standpoint, it was an awesome opportunity for Frank and the team. You know, Willie basically walked the team down, looked at the wall of engines in the museum, and you know, saw kind of an empty spot at the end of the line and said, if you do your jobs right, is to put something here that's worthy of the museum. What a great way to kick off the project. What I'd like people to notice right away is maybe from that 100-yard view is that's got to be the next Harley Davidson powertrain. So when you look at the air cleaner on the Milwaukee 8, it's pure drag racing imagery, right? I have to say the first things that I reacted to were definitely the cylinder heads. You know, I always looked at Evos and looked at twin cams and just wished that there was just a little bit more sculpture and a little bit more visual dynamicism happening up there. And, you know, this motor really delivers that in spades. And, you know, they really overemphasized the heads and then the base of the cylinder is very narrow, like an athlete's back. It looked muscular and powerful. And I think that's what we're speaking to when we talk about the engine, you know, visually spilling out of the motorcycle. At Harley-Davidson, it's about legacy and it's about legitimacy of what we're actually uh, designing.